integers, the upside of negativity. Remember, you can always hit that pause button if you want to slow things down a bit. Once upon a time, there was a dog named Gravity, in a land where all numbers were positive. Gravity liked to wander, but his owner Aleph had a GPS tracker on his collar, so wherever Gravity went, Aleph could find him. The GPS had a map and used letters and numbers to show where things were. You could find Gravity at E5, or if he'd gone to the park at I5, or even if he'd snuck into that teeny teeny locker in H1. But one day, Gravity dug a hole and went underground. The GPS gave out an error message. 404. Dog not found. Aleph went to a wise dude who would know what to do. The dude looked at 404, dog not found, and said, This is going to require serious thought. Aleph said, So you don't know what it means? Wise dude said, I know exactly what it means. And you can too. But you have to learn to think in a new way. You have to understand about <laughs> negative numbers. Negative numbers are the opposite of positive numbers. Opposite? Are the rules changing? No. As we grow, our understanding of our world changes. We observe things. We want to understand them. We start with simple understanding. Most children learn what a dog is. And every animal in a yard is a dog. Unless, of course, you're in Alaska, and the first big animal you see is a moose, and then all the animals in the world are moose. But we grow and we learn that there's more to hairy four-leggedness than dogs or moose. Are the rules changing? Dogs are still dogs, even when we understand horses and moose. Instead of knowing that is a dog, now we know that's a dog. And it's a mammal, like horses and moose, so it has hair and has live young, not like birds that lay eggs, and there are different kinds of dogs. We can do the same with math. To make sense of math, it helps to start with what already makes sense. So, this presentation is going to spend time explaining simple ideas and explaining how these are connected to more complicated ones. If this is horribly dull, I'll try to find a place for you to fast forward to, but Right now, I'm aiming at people who are totally tired of not understanding why math is done the way it is. So, we need to advance our thinking. Just as we learn that dogs are a kind of animal, we can learn that addition is a kind of putting two things together. Putting positives together means we have more positives. But now, be aware of your old ways of thinking. Plus does not always make more. But first, a coffee break. You say you don't believe me. How in the world can I add and end up with less? Let me demonstrate. What's the temperature of this coffee? Let's just estimate 190 degrees Fahrenheit. 212 would be boiling and it's not quite that hot. And fast food places serve coffee at 190 degrees. Add cream or cold water. What happens to that temperature? I do believe it's going to go down. There's no more steam. So the big idea is opposite. We've added something to the coffee, but the temperature went down. The temperature went in the opposite direction. So opposites, you know what they are. We're going to use ideas that you know already know about and explore them deeper. Up is the opposite of down. In is the opposite of out, hot, cold. I picked these on purpose. These aren't just any old opposites. These opposites undo each other. If you're on the ground and you go up 20 feet in the air and then back down 20 feet, where are you? You're right back down on the ground. If you go in and come back out, where are you? Back where you started. Positive and negative work the same way. Going up is positive, going down is going in the negative direction. And the negative numbers are when you keep going down past zero. So, let's make this connection between the opposites we know and the positive and negative idea. 
positive numbers keep getting bigger, numbers, negative numbers keep getting lower. Time for some questions to make that connection. A negative number undoes what a positive number would have done. That negative sign means go the opposite way. So, negatives are always smaller than positives. Temperatures below zero are always colder than above zero. Numbers above zero are positive. Numbers below zero are negative. Here's what it looks like with sea level. Sea level is at zero, so anything lower than that is below zero. And the lower you go, the bigger the below zero number is. Temperature, no matter where you put the zero, Fahrenheit or centigrade, if it's under zero, it's negative. And 20 degrees here is the same distance as 20 degrees here on the same scale. So, imagining positive and negative, we're going to talk about two ways of seeing and thinking about negative numbers in the next two videos. Things that are opposite and undo each other, chips, and a number line. One might seem clearer than the other. Use what works for you. And here's the last little quiz. This page has practice putting numbers on a horizontal number line. And this has ads, but some fun practice getting the positives and negatives in order.